Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to another episode. I want to give a big thanks to EcoFlow for sponsoring this video today. And uh, we're currently out here fishing and camping. Um, this is actually day two, and um, the EcoFlow products have definitely been keeping us up and running. the EcoFlow Delta 2 uh, just came out uh, and we're also using their EcoFlow um, foldable solar panel the 220 watt model and I actually currently have it set up and charging the portable power station right now and we're using that portable power station to power um, all of our lights uh, recharge all of our um, headlamps for at night when we're fishing um, we're uh, we have two of them and we have both of them plugged into the EcoFlow um, Delta 2 and it's keeping everything nice and cold. Um, so yeah, uh, let me show you guys um, the setup I have going on and um, let's get into it here. Um, out here charging with the EcoFlow 200 watt foldable solar panel. As you guys can see in the background, uh, we're out here by the beach. Uh, we're out here fishing on the rock cliffs over here. Uh, we have a sailboat right out there uh, and we have some other families camping over there um, we're pretty much almost fully charged it says 34 minutes left and we'll be fully charged there's 165 watts coming in nothing going out because we don't have nothing plugged into it right now uh, and it's 94 percent charged when you're like going camping traveling you know fishing trips whatever it may be um, this is definitely a, a, a solution for replacing the generators. A lot of people used to use gas generators. And so now this is just clean energy, clean renewable energy. Uh, so there's about 3000 or more charges um, before you get to about 80% dip of discharge, which means it still has a lot of power in it. Um, but 3000 charges is a lot. And so you can easily take this with you, fold it up. Uh, it comes with its own carrying case and you can pretty much go anywhere you want, you know, throw it in the back of your truck, your SUV, your car. And like how we are out here, we're on, this is day two already, we're out here and um, the EcoFlow product has been keeping us up and running. Um, no problem. In fact, we have a, a 12 volt freezer, um, freezer cooler, and we have actually um, popsicles in there, frozen. We just had a couple of popsicles and we're out here in the hot sun. I mean, it's probably about, about at least 98 degrees, somewhere around there. So it's, it's pretty hot. We had popsicles, right? I don't know too many people that come to the beach that have popsicles, <laughs> but we do. This is awesome, guys. Think about it. We are charging the system with the sun. Just absolutely awesome, right? Free power. Free power, guys. The sun going through the solar panels, going into the EcoFlow um, portable power station, charging up the battery, and then we have battery power. All right, so we just got done cooking rice. Um, we're down to 87% on the battery. Um, we're outputting 11 watts right now, charging my cell phone. Um, but I want to show you guys the rice that we made real quick. Oh yeah. So we're about to uh, make some chicken alfredo and um, have dinner. All right, let's see if it's gonna run this microwave here. Get her powered up. All right. We have one, two, three, four, five, six AC outputs. We also have a cigarette lighter output. Uh, and then up here, we also have the solar input, the wall input, and a reset button um, or overload protection. Let's go ahead and plug in our microwave. Okay, she's plugged in. Let's go ahead and turn on the AC. You just press it one time. Now all the plugs. So as soon as I turned it on, you guys can see the microwave turned on. Uh, so let's go ahead and go for a couple minutes. So we're at three minutes and it's actually running it. The microwave using, using about 1,600, 1,635 watts. So it says that we could run this load for 32 minutes straight, how long it would last if you was to continuously run it. This is at 60 Hertz. Still running it. No problem. I want to show you guys is how fast this charges. It is incredible how fast this thing can recharge. Microwave, it's, it's on its highest um, power setting. 
So it's it's gonna use as much power as possible right now. So we have it on the, the max setting. And we're easily running this microwave, no problem. You can download the EcoFlow app. And it's pretty neat because you can, if you have more than one, you can put more than one device in here. So I have one device in here right now. So it tells us what's happening right now. So the battery is at 90% charged right here. Let me stand this up over here so you guys can see it a little bit better. And it's matching exactly to what's happening. Um, it also tells us how much power is being outputted. So this is actually connected through my home Wi-Fi. Um, but you don't actually need the Wi-Fi in order to connect to it. You can actually connect through it Bluetooth. Um, so we're using, so you guys can see that we can toggle on and off the AC, the 12 volt outputs, the USB outputs. Very, very nice. Um, it tells us our battery, our battery percentage, we're at 88%. We're consuming 1,406 watts. This is awesome. Um, there's another thing you can do. You can go into the settings up here. Settings. You can turn the beeps on and off on the device. Um, you can change the charging speed, the car input um, charging speed. Um, it also has a smart generator auto off and on feature, X boost feature. You can determine how much um, you want the battery to um, either discharge or how far you want it to charge up if you wanted to change those So let's see here um, There's a lot of little things you can do in here, which is very very nice. You can it's very nice that you can change the charging um, Wattage so if you don't want to pump in 1200 watts of AC power um, You know you can change it down if you want you can actually set this up as a UPS and you have a blackout if you plug your main device into this and then you plug this into the wall, to your regular wall outlet. As soon as you have a, uh, keep in mind it's still running, no problem. Um, as soon as you have a blackout or the power gets cut off to your, to your home, it'll automatically switch over. It'll transfer over automatically for you. So you, you won't even know the difference. So it just turned off, went down to zero. And now I actually ran this for six minutes. I started at three minutes uh, and then I, I ran and got my phone so I could show you guys the app real quick and then I redid it another three minutes. Um, so that's six minutes and we're, when we started we were at 99% and now we're down to 82%. Um, but yeah, this is running this no problem. And so like if you're watching TV for example and you had your TV plugged into this and this plugged into the wall and let's say the power cut off, your t you wouldn't even notice your TV would continuously keep running. It wouldn't stop. So um, yeah, that's a really nice feature. This is nice for emergency uses. There, you know, this is not just a battery, right? This, the capabilities of what they've packed into this unit is quite amazing. So I currently have it plugged into the wall outlet and recharging, and we are pumping in, let's see, 1,100, 74 watts going into the system recharging we're 84 percent charged and it's saying that it's going to take 19 minutes or less to fully charge this back up you know not only is it telling us how much power is coming in how much power we're actually going to be you know how much we're using or consuming tells us our battery percentage but this right here i really like this it tells us exactly how long it's going to take to recharge the system right here in minutes or hours. Now, when I have a device plugged into it and consuming power out of this device, this will tell us how long we can run that device for on that current load, you know, for either days, hours, or minutes.